I'm Johnny. And I'm Sam. Welcome to our farm. We're at the part of the farm that no other place that we viewed had, and this is it. We've got our own lake. Okay, so the house needs a lot of work, but what we concluded from our trip was that the land is more important than the house because a house can be built. Our farm has three hectares of completely fenced land, beautiful views, lots of fruit trees, and of course, the lake. That's what really sold it for us. So let's take you on a little tour, starting with the lake. If we go into here, there's a little area where we're planning to put some vegetables and then here we're going to build a little summer house with a little beach front going into the lake. And we think there's some fish in there so be quite good to see if we can catch anything. Here we've got some olive trees. There's quite a few olive trees on the land. Just here we have some cherry trees and it's cherry season. So trees are absolutely loaded with organic cherries. Juicy. probably got about 10 cherry trees so it's enough for us and we've got some figs this is the Sao Joao variety and they should be out later this year Over here, we've got some big grapevines in the tree. They obviously haven't been pruned for a long time. Lots of olive trees. So I think we might make our own olive oil this year. Really big fig tree next to the house. We've got a borehole over there so we've got clean fresh mountain water from a mountain spring and those views. So here's the house. Well it's a ruin and we need to reconstruct it. And I've done a 3D design. I mean, I'm no architect, but I've used Adobe Dimension to create what it could look like. And we'll show you that after we've had a look inside of what it looks like now. So the rooms are quite small in here 
and we're not sure how much of the original building we're going to keep or we can keep. I think it would be nice to keep some of the stonework. Now, the house does have an upstairs, but it's not very big, so when we do the renovation plans, what we'll do is extend it to be a taller top floor because while I can stand up here it's actually not very big you can only really have like one room up here currently and then out here we've got this extra bit which I think is an old pigsty so got all this space in here I really hope we can keep the stonework. I'll take you for a closer look. Yeah, sheeshed, sheeshed stone. Would look really nice if we get, get it all pointed. And then there's this bit on the end here. Hope I can get in here to show you. So, the additional part of the house here. Here's the side of the house and then just here, it's got this little back part. Let's just have a little look inside show you what's in there. Oh. Whoops. So the house is 17 meters by 12 meters. Then we have another 10 meters there. But we have 2000 square meters of urban land, so we are going to put a plan into the architect to do us a drawing and build the house. So this is the design I put together of our new home. You can see the yellow colour where we'd like to leave original sheathed stone. Inside the top floor has five bedrooms and that big room at the front is a games room. And then downstairs one ground floor bedroom, living and dining room and kitchen. As I say, I'm no architect, but I thought I'd give it a go and provide something to a real architect of what we're looking for. Now it wouldn't be a Johnny and Sam video without featuring a bike, so Johnny is going to take you around a couple of bits of the land that you haven't seen yet.
this is our barn. As you can see, it's a pretty big size, and you can probably tell from our YouTube channel, we're really into cars, bikes, anything motorised. Um, so this is going to end up being a, a big workshop slash garage. We'd like to get a couple of ramps in here, maybe one four poster ramp and one two poster ramp. We've got two huge entrances so we can get cars in either side. Haven't quite worked out the positioning of things yet. Also want to put a tyre machine, a welder and build like an engine, an engine area um, that's dust free so that we can build engines properly without getting them contaminated. As you can see at the moment it's full of sheet, well half the barn is separated and it's full of sheet. The things that you can see hanging, big tarpaulin, is to stop the condensation from the sheet um, where they breathe, it all goes up onto the roof and drips down. So all of that will be going. Um, I don't know if you can notice from the camera angle there, but where the sheep are is around about this much higher than the ground. That's all sheep shit, hay, food, all of that stuff is broken down over time. So we've essentially got a huge compost pile and we need to be able to build some compost bins and get a tractor and dig all of that stuff out. This truck isn't ours. It was offered to us within the sale of the farm, but we've already got a big pickup truck just outside. The tractor in the back was also offered to us, but it's around about 50 years old. It doesn't have a front loader on it, and we want to get a new tractor with a front loader, and then we can keep it in good condition, because that kind of needs a full rebuild. Um, so these two are going to be going. The sheep, uh, some of the sheep are going to be going tonight, and the rest of the sheep should be going in a few days, hopefully. So then once they're gone, the big clear out of the barn can begin. Looking forward to that. So now that we've shown you the barn, soon to be workshop, should we go and have a look where we're thinking about putting a pool? Sounds good. Let's go. Cuidado. So these are mimosa trees. And they're a bit like a bramble here apparently, so I think we might cut them down, use them for firewood in the winter. So where are we putting the pool? Thinking about putting the pool around about here. Looks nice. Nice view as well. It's just one terrace down from where the house is, so it's not far from the house at all. There's the house up there. And it's also a very secluded spot on the farm, so it's not overlooked by anyone, no one can see here. So if we have our pool here, potentially we might be able to do an infinity pool. We don't know yet. Because this drops down to another terrace. There is the potential to cut the trees out and potentially have a, an infinity pool. And that's it, our new home. Well, we won't be living in it for a while. Thanks for following us so far on our journey. We really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.